Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is thankful Thursday and we have all sorts of cool things to show you. Um, as you can probably tell, it's been a busy week for the delivery guy. Um, a couple of things I've already showed you. Uh, yesterday I gave you a sneak peek because the packages came in during my live stream. So we'll look at those first and then we'll move on to other things. Of course, I will show you the things I've already um, aired because I've already been doing the bonus flips for these. And I did receive them on Monday. So I have done a bonus flip for these wonderful big kid coloring books. Uh, the Fairy Houses and Fairy Doors. Of course, I have Volume 1, Volume 2, and today I just put out the Volume 3. I have two more of these coming, so I will have all five of the Fairy Houses and Fairy Doors um, series done by Dawn B. Boyer, and they're absolutely wonderful. If you've missed the flip-throughs, um, they are in the bonus album, so you can take a look at those. Absolutely wonderful books. They are so cute. Um, of course, I received a, one of these. Uh, this is an electric eraser, and it works so good. I've been playing with it. <laughs> I think I've used up half an eraser. Um, I charged it last night and it is rechargeable. You just plug it in and it recharges. So you don't have to worry about changing batteries or anything like that. The um, eraser is very, very easy to change. You just pull it out, pull the eraser out a little bit, put it back in and it just goes back in the hole and you've extended your eraser. Now, I have found that it uh, is best not to, you know, put it straight up and down and put some pressure on it. <laughs> I found that out the hard way, but it does seem to work very well. It has this wonderful little protective cap so that it's not getting ruined um, if it lands on its eraser in your bag or anything like that. You may run the battery down with it, though, because it is a very, very touchy little button. It does come with a wonderful brush. It's a nice stiff brush, so getting those eraser chunks off of your paper is really easy to do with this. And, of course, it comes with a set of replacement uh, holders for these really small ones and some more of the big ones. So it does have two different sizes of erasers. So you can go with a really, really big one or you can go with a really fine one. So if you have really, really, really fine details that you need to erase, it does have eight of each replacements. So that was another one of my deliveries that I showed, gave you a sneak peek of yesterday. This is another one that I gave you a sneak peek of, and I did use them. I used them on the wonderful um, Coloring Heavens mermaid that I was painting, and I used them on the background with the Dew Drop inks. Now, they do stain, but they do wash. Like, I wash this out, and there is no ink coming off whatsoever. So I'll show you on a piece of paper. Let's see if I can find a piece. You would think with all of the art supplies around me, I would have a piece of paper that I can show you this on. <laughs> and I do. So here we go. So here's the back of a piece of cardstock. And I've washed this, and as you can see, there is no ink coming out of that whatsoever. So even though it is stained from the ink, there's none coming off of it once you wash it. And I washed it with just basic soap and water. Now, it is a little damp because it holds a lot of water. So these are going to be uh, one of those things that uh, I will probably use for backgrounds and stuff like that on with inks as well as um, I'm going to play with them a bit with the cream crayons and the chalk pastels. 
maybe a little bit with my pan pastels. We'll see. I know people really don't like it when I use makeup utensils for that sort of thing, but it works and I enjoy using them for that. I'll move my phone out of the way there. You guys don't need to be looking at it. It's not new. <laughs> Now these came in yesterday and I want to thank Magic Fly very much for sending them to me. Um, this was sent to me as a gift to review. I did not purchase these and I did not pay for them. So this is something that Magic Fly has sent to me to work on a special project that I'm working on with the 3D print community. And I'll give you a sneak peek. This is not finished. Uh, it is just started. I wanted to let the ink dry or the paint dry, but um, the color and the coverage is just absolutely fantastic. And it is going to work wonderfully for what I need it to do. So I will, of course, show you a little bit more of that coloring as well as the markers. Now it comes in this box. And it's a good heavy cardboard box. The paints aren't in here, but they come in inside the box. Let's see if I can get you inside the box with this bag. This bag is folded up in the box with the markers. And these markers are, and of course, I will review them a little bit further tomorrow. I'm just going to give you a couple of hints on them. The fantastic thing about these markers the bag itself is great for holding them that's about it is they are an acry acrylic paint marker so you do have to shake them up you do have to activate them I've activated this one so you can see that it has a wonderful chisel on that end now I'm going to grab this piece of paper oh, well it's already got color on it but on one end is this wonderful chisel, so you can get a nice thick layer of paint. And on the other end is this really fine little um, brush tip. It's not like a brush, it's, it's more like a, um, it's just a really fine seven point or a point zero seven tip so that you can draw smaller areas or cover smaller areas, get into tight spots, stuff like that. And under the chisel, it does come with a pair of tweezers, so you can do this easily without mucking up your fingers. Let's see if I can find the tweezers, just so I can show you. Uh, maybe I'll do it on one that I haven't activated yet because I can't find the tweezers. So I haven't activated this one yet. So I'll show you on this one. So under, there's your chisel. And under your chisel, you actually have a bullet nib as well. So you can change your nib. You can just by flipping it over and it'll change to a bullet nib so that you can get your color in a, in a, smaller area than the chisel, but a wider area than the fine point, which to me is fantastic for what I'm going to use them for. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you color um, on glass or on plastic or on rocks or anything like that, it gives you the ability to have three different pens in one. So yeah, I will, re I will review those more tomorrow. Um, yeah, can you tell I'm excited about them? Because yeah, I've almost uh, completely done the review now. <laughs> but I will review them some more tomorrow and show you a little bit more of what I'm going to use them for, as well as different things that you can use them for it and that sort of thing. So that is going to be fun. And of course, like I said, I'll go through some of the um, tips and tricks and stuff like that that they have on the box for those pens. Now, another thing that came in the mail this week is pencils. Of course, 
we got to have some pencils. I have been hearing for almost six months to a year now, everybody telling me about these Sergeant Art Supreme Series colored pencils and how wonderful they are and everything else. So, of course, I had to buy them. And they are fairly nice. They do smell. They do put off an odor. So if you have um, sensitivities to that, air them out. Let them air out before you use them. I have been told that they are the exact same colors and the exact same um, pigmentation and everything else as the sharper Fabens or Farbens, sharper Farben, and I'm saying that wrong, and I know I'm saying that wrong, and I have been corrected before, and for some reason, my tongue just won't go there, sharper Farben, um, but to me, not even close. The names are completely different, the colors are different, and that sort of thing, so I will be reviewing those a little bit more tomorrow as well. I'll go through the swatch and of course give them their own little video where we will go through and color with them a little bit and take a good look at the pencils themselves. And last but not least of the wonderful things that came in my mail, Starjoy 120 colored pencil set. And I've been wanting these, and of course, when I went to buy them, they were out of stock. So when they came back in stock and sent me an email and said, ooh, we're back in stock, I, of course, ran out and immediately purchased them. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful-looking crayons, um, wonderful-looking pencils. They're very, very straight. I don't have too many that jump around. They seem to be a little bit longer than their holder, which isn't a big deal to me. I like to have a longer pencil. And as you can tell, I sharpened one to see how they would sharpen, and they do sharpen quite nicely. They are fairly centered. I haven't seen too many that are really off-center, but... Of course, we will do a review tomorrow. We'll go through the swatch and we will go through and discuss their layout. We'll discuss their colors. We'll discuss everything else tomorrow. And those are all of the wonderful things that I have received in the mail this week. I really hope that you tune in tomorrow for several videos because we are going to have about three of them tomorrow for our Fun Stuff Friday. Now, I know I said that we were going to call it Fun Stuff Friday, but I really don't like the name. <laughs> I don't like saying it. So we're going to go back to Fun Stuff Friday. So um, we're going to review these tomorrow. I will do the swatch, and I will uh, go through that with you tomorrow, as well as some coloring with these wonderful, wonderful star joys, as well as with these fantastic looking Sergeant Art Supreme series. And like I said, they do have a little bit of an odor, so I will air them out a little bit so that I don't get a headache while I do the swatch. And the Magic uh, Fly markers. Now, once again, these were sent to me for review. I did not purchase the Magic Fly markers. I did purchase the Sergeant Art and I did purchase the Star Joy. Um, I will give a complete and thorough review with the Magic Fly markers and, of course, give my honest and unbiased um, opinion of them. So far, um, just from what I've seen with the fact that they are three pens in one and the colors that I have used in the lay down that they do for what I want to use them for is wonderful. And of course, we will review that more tomorrow. Of course, I already did the flip throughs of the wonderful books by 
Dawn B. Boyer. I hope you have enjoyed those bonus flip throughs throughout the week. We do have two more coming. So we will do an entire uh, an entire flip through of one whole series done by Dawn B. Boyer. She is a member of our Facebook group. So if you're in our Facebook group, say hi, you know, um, tell her what you, what you enjoy about her work and everything else. And she does have over a hundred, a hundred, over a hundred coloring books done under the name of Big Kids Coloring Book. And uh, if you want to take a look at those, of course, the link uh, to Dawn's um, Amazon shop will be provided below. Take a look and, uh, you know, she has something for everybody. I have a thing for fairies. So when I saw that there was fairy houses and fairy doors, that was, that was, that was it for me. <laughs> if, if she had unicorn houses and unicorn doors, I probably would have ended up with two different sets, but I didn't find any, I didn't look horribly hard either. So I'm quite sure if I, if I really looked, she would probably have something for that as well. Of course, if you are not a member of our Facebook group and you want to join us over on Facebook, you can definitely do that by clicking on the link below. Um, just fill out the application form. That application form is there for a reason. Uh, it is to protect our members and provide a secure, safe environment for them um, in our group. Basically, a bot will not fill out the application form, so we won't accept anyone that doesn't fill out the application form. Um, of course, I have become an Amazon affiliate, so all of the links below for any of these products will be Amazon affiliate links, and anytime that you click on an Amazon affiliate link, your the person that has put up the link will receive a couple of pennies from your your purchase, um, of course, at no cost to you. And of course, the last but not least whatsoever um, is, well, and not even last, because of course, I want you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave me a comment, different things that you wanna see me do, um, or different products that you would like to see me review uh, in the comment section below, um, whether or not you uh, like the pencils that I have here, or the, if you wanna try the Magic Fly uh, paint pens, anything like that. Or if you just wanna say, hi, I really enjoyed your video, do so in the comments below. Of course, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I do put out a video every day except for Sunday. Sundays is reserved for special occasions and special special videos. And of course, those do happen. So stay tuned for those and keep an eye out. Uh, of course, hit ring the bell because that will tell you when any of these videos come available to view. Of course, last but not least, I want you all to relax, color, and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye for now, guys, and until tomorrow when we go through all of this fun stuff. All right, bye-bye, guys.